Today I want to talk about a contract that you guys have probably never heard of before. This is very popular in the track and field world, but I don't think most fans know about it. Now let me set the scene for you. You're watching a professional track and field race, and you see one of your favorite athletes decked out in their brand new gear. And you're thinking, wow, they had a decent season last year, they probably signed to a billion dollar shoe company, and they're getting paid decently. See that's where you might be wrong, cause they might have no financial benefit from that deal. These are called gear contracts. And I'm going to tell you what a gear contract is along with three reasons why an athlete might sign one and why shoe companies do them. But before we get into all of that, hey the channel is new and I see a lot of people commenting, enjoying the content, but I've noticed that 99% of people who are watching the videos have not subscribed. So just take some time out real quick and let's go subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, just hit the like button. If you like track and field, marketing, finances and everything around track or you just want to learn something new, I think this is the channel for you so continue watching and share the video. Okay, now let's get back into it. Now what is a gear contract? A gear contract is an agreement between an athlete and a company to sponsor them but the only incentive is going to be the gear. But within the contract there might be some marks that the athletes can hit to get paid financial benefits but nothing is guaranteed. So athletes would need to hit certain marks within the confines of the contract that will allow them to get paid possibly at the end of the year. I think it's similar to a sales commission job where you work for your employer but you're not guaranteed any pay unless you sell. So before you think you would sign a contract like that, let's think about that. Now let's dive into the three reasons why athletes might sign contracts like this. The first reason is going to be to build rapport. Why is this important? It's just a game of life. You have to build a network. If you sign with a shoe company, you're going to be talking to the marketing guy. You're going to be talking to all the reps in that company. They're already going to know you. So if you do want a deal in the future, this is going to help your case out a lot. It's similar to when people take entry level jobs at a company that don't pay them much, but they know that they can work their way up into the company. Another reason is going to be the athlete is betting on themselves. You take a contract like this, it's usually for a year. And you're betting that a year from now, you're going to be significantly better than you are today. And you can renegotiate a better contract and get yourself some money. And the third reason is going to be to be able to train and compete in the best gear possible. After you leave college, there's no more free. So you're going to need to get training gear and competition gear from somewhere. If you're not signed to a shoe company, you're going to have to spend money on that. And as you can think, it's expensive. So definitely signing that gear contract is better than nothing. One thing that a lot of track fans don't know, the standard for signing an actual contract with payment for the year is higher than you'd think. Using myself as an example, in 2016, I finished second in the 400 meters, but I wasn't guaranteed a contract until I made a Jamaican Olympic team. Now think about how high that standard is. You also may be wondering, why would a shoe company sign an athlete and just give them gear? What's in it for them? It's pretty simple from their end. It's just free advertising. They get to give an athlete free gear which doesn't cost them much and they get an athlete that's going to be representing their brand for low cost. And in the case that the athlete does end up competing well, well great, you're already in our system, it's going to be easier for them to sign them. So I want to know, after hearing this, have you ever heard about a gear contract? And would you sign a gear contract? What do you think athletes should do when they're presented with this opportunity? Let me know down in the comments. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and be sure to share with anybody you think would be interested in these topics. Thank you.